condemn acts of aggression, and actively engage in diplomatic efforts to promote dialogue, negotiation, and a peaceful resolution to conflict. In this regard, I would also like to take this opportunity to commend Turkey for its efforts in negotiating in negotiating the Black Sea grain deal and working relentlessly on maintaining it. This initiative plays a vital role in ensuring the availability of essential food supplies to developing countries, particularly in regions like Sub-Saharan Africa. Last but not least, my husband Schwar and I would like to take this opportunity to bid farewell since we will be leaving Turkey this summer. Um, at our arrival in autumn 2020, we were warmly welcomed and we had the chance to witness the legendary hospitality of Turkish people in all corners of the country. I would like to thank the colleagues in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for their support, availability and efforts in working towards reinforcing our bilateral relations. I would also like to thank my team, my deputy Laura Laka, the whole team at the embassy and as well here at the residence. We are a small team, but each of each and everyone did their utmost to make things work. And of course, I thank my husband, Joao, who left his country to accompany, here, to accompany me here in Turkey. Thank you for your support. <laughs> for Luxembourg, the 23rd of June is the celebration of the official birthday of our head of state, Grand Duke Henri. In the whole country, it is a joyful and popular occasion, celebrated with official events, parties, concerts, and spectacular fireworks. Those, ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, let's celebrate the Luxembourg National Day together. Let's raise our glass to the well-being of the Royal Highnesses, the Grand Duke and the Grand Duchess of Luxembourg, and the everlasting links of friendship between the people of Luxembourg and the people of Turkey. Vive le Grand Duc, vive le Luxembourg. <laughs>